there? Did you miss me? <laughs> I missed you. Oh, so much. You have no idea what I've been through just to find you. But I did. And now, you're all mine. Do you remember the little games we used to play? Do you remember all the times where I would capture you? And yet you would escape from me. Every time, every time that happens, well, I get even more agitated. Every single time. Every single time. You try and try and try and you always get away from me. I'm not going to let that happen again. <laughs> I'm not going to let that happen again. Because you see, I'm sick and tired of chasing you around. Like it's some sick game of cat and mouse. I'm sick and tired of trying to capture you for my own sick game. I'm tired of it. In short, well, I don't want you anymore. I don't want to call you my pet anymore. I don't want you. So you better get that through your small little brain of yours. I don't want you anymore. I don't even want to see your face anymore. You make me sick. You're nothing but a piece of trash. To me, you are absolutely nothing but garbage. I don't even want to continue this conversation with you. But here we are. Now, before I kill you, let me tell you something. You see, I've been chasing a lot of things recently. I've been chasing my own sanity, trying to figure out what and who I want to be. I've been trying to figure out what I want to be. Do I want to continue down this path of unholy righteousness? Or go back to my hero ways and save people who are in need, like you? You're in need right now, because there's no one coming for you. Absolutely zero. No pro heroes. Not even your friends. No one is coming for you. And I will make sure that your death is the slowest and most painfulest thing I could ever do to a person. Nextly, I've been also monitoring you. You know, spying on you. Checking in on you. You have quite a lot of friends. You have quite a lot of friends. Friends that used to be my friends. All those years ago, they used to be with me. 
They're not my friends anymore. They're not my friends anymore. Because I chose my path. And they chose theirs. They wanted to be in the spotlight of a hero. They wanted the fame and fortune of being a hero and saving everyone just for a paycheck. Not me, though. I saw through the hero's ways. I saw through the flashing cameras and big paychecks. I saw through their whole facade. Their whole facade. It's nothing but a bunch of bullshit. They don't know what they're doing. They just know when to hit somebody and cause more damage to everyone around them. They don't know what they are doing. Not one single bit. And yet you still want to be one of them. One of those disgusting heroes. Well, I'm here to say that you won't even see the light of day after I'm done with you. You won't see the light of day. You will die here. I will make it the most painfulest way I can think of. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like when your arm's broken, do you? <laughs> You are so weak compared to me. You are nothing but a speck of dust. You are nothing but a disgusting insect. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? Being called an insect. Do you remember who called you an in a little insy tiny insect hmm all those years ago you don't remember a man wearing a purple furred coat no does a beak remind you of anything <laughs> I see the terror in your eyes, because you finally remember. Guess what? He's all better now. He even has some prosthetic arms now. He has been going through things. He has been training all this time. And now, he's ready to return. <laughs> I hope you're prepared, because he's my boss now, even though I am stronger than him. He wanted his control back. He wanted to show the world what it means to be a villain in the eyes of a hero. So, let me introduce you to the man who's going to take your life away. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I would love to introduce 
brand new, fully improved overhaul. I'm glad you enjoyed your little chat with Deku here. But sadly, that little chat will have to end here. Now die. <laughs>